Yes, hello and welcome back. This is season two of World of Tanks Blitz with 48 Ton Ruckus. What do you reckon of the new intro? Pretty slick, if I do say so myself. That clip is off the World of Tanks Endless War CGI trailer, the link to which I will post in the video description. So here we are in patch 1.4.0. Oasis Palms is back, it's had a rebalance with the cap point in the very center of the map now. I haven't had much of a chance to play it but uh, the few games I have had have seen a lot more action on the northern hilly side of the map. Changes have been made to the research cost for certain modules on the IS-4 line of heavy tanks and the big change that everyone was looking forward to obviously was the introduction of the German second heavy line which ranges from the completely unpronounceable PZ series of light tanks down at tiers 2 to 4 all the way up to the massive mighty Morse, the tier 10 200 ton behemoth. All of Season 2's gameplay will be recorded on my iPhone 6 Plus and as you can see I've made some uh, changes in the hardware and software setup and things are looking a lot clearer and smoother. I've got one match to present to you today but first uh, a quick run through of my garage just to show you how things stand at this, the beginning of Season 2. I currently own the M26 Pershing T29, 103 and E5, my American heavy tank old faithfuls. The T25 AT tank destroyer is not quite upgraded yet, it's coming along okay, I just played every now and again. T62A, KV1S are both stalwart favourites, they are really good tanks. KV3 is my progression on the IS-4 line. I've still got the SU-152 even though I've upgraded to the ISU-152. Uh, don't expect to see any gameplay in this thing until I unlock that uh, massive 152mm BL-10 gun which is pretty much the only good thing about that tank. At the moment it sucks balls. Uh, I've got the Panzer Kampfwagen 38 ton down to tier 3 which is my very modest progression towards the Morse. The E75 is now fully upgraded and has quickly become one of my favourite vehicles. The thing is a monster. And the Jag Tiger only gets played every now and again, it's still sitting there half halfway towards the tier 10 Jag Panzer E100. Ducking in for a quick look at the service record, you can see I've played just under 4,800 games. The win rate is slowly climbing up towards 75%, I'm almost there. And a lot of that is down to the fact that the E75 now is fully upgraded. I've been playing that quite a lot. You can see the 84% win rate on that, it is solid. Um, the big difference between that and the T29 is that I generally only play the E75 in a platoon, whereas the T29, only half of those games are platooned, half of them are solo. So tier for tier, I'd still say the T29 is the most powerful vehicle in the game. Alright, let's go. The match I'm going to show you is a tier 9 battle on Fails Creek. It's myself, solo, in the M103. Tier 9 match, obviously. Uh, quite even teams, except we are up against two guys there from the Korean, I believe they're a Korean clan, uh, ID. I play with the name, he is a great player, in fact all those ID guys make very stiff opposition, so certain amount of trepidation going into this battle. Luckily though, all my teammates put in a really good effort, uh, if it wasn't for them, there's no way I would have come out on top because I did not play this one spectacularly well, but it was interesting, so I'm going to show it to you. The name just spotted straight up. We're making a risky run through the creek there. You've got to be careful you don't get spotted early from our guys on the hill. He does take a hit. So that's a nice start. Tank destroyer heavy and medium backing me up as I flank around behind the cap circle. Good mobility on the M103. Now Aaron in the object 704 has already beat me there. He spotted though coming across the cap circle which gives me time to prep a shot into the tracks making use of repair kit. He's pushing, someone gets a great hit on him, sets him on fire. And now he's in a bit of a tough spot. He takes another hit as he sits there. He's I really want to finish him off. 
could see me edging about, but to go around that corner would mean taking one in the front and just not prepared to do that. So just sit tight, wait for opportunities to present themselves. Here comes one right now. The IS. Pokes his nose around for a look in a sec. And loses 90% of his health for his efforts. To finish him off. Someone beats me to it. I see that Aaron is distracted, so I sneak round just before he can turn. But now I'm distracted by all these easy targets. And the name to his sitting in the cap circle gets a good shot on me. Tracking shot, unfortunately no damage. Got a lot of guys behind me, but they are distracted. And now I get all discombobulated. Turrets all us about. Very noobish behaviour. Desperately trying to bring it round. The name sees his opportunity and whacks me in the side of the turret. Crest the ridge, lower plate. Four tracks. This time it does damage. Scanning behind me. Trying to reposition here. And I have no idea how that shot went through. Must be a pretty lucky shot. Swapped a heat because I knew I couldn't crest the ridge in time to get the lower plate. Side of the turret there. And he's coming to finish me off over the hill. I've got nowhere to back up because there's a dead IS behind me. I figure I'm gone. Tracking shot. I'm jiggling about. I'm going, why isn't he shooting me? And the Jag Tiger finished him off. Now, I don't know if you saw it there, but at the time I had no idea why he didn't kill me. So we're going to. Rewind. I'll see exactly what happened. Crest the hill, look for the track, hit him just before he fires, and it pulls his shot off to the side into the mountain. So, <laughs> bad luck to the named. That was very lucky for me. Back to AP. Only a couple of guys left in the river now. Down goes the T-43, and I get the IS-8. Well played to that team, they were solid. So only a third tier mastery for that one, uh, 2.7k damage. So you can see there an even spread of damage throughout the team. Aaron there having an unlucky game. 9 from 9. And 30k. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next one.